Welcome to Grief Matters, a podcast that features conversations about life and death, hosted by Lori Opitz, Director of Bereavement at the Joseph T. Quinlan Bereavement Center. No subject is off limits and no topic is taboo. Please submit your questions about anything end of life, dying, death, and grief to karenanquinlanhospice.org slash grief matters. Hi, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk about something that happened uh, last month in the state of New Jersey that's pretty amazing. And that is a new law was put on the books that says that grief must be taught as part of the curriculum in grades eight through 12. Uh, Never before has this been done as part of law, and it is 2024, and it's amazing that it never has been taught in the schools before as part of the curriculum, but at least we're heading in a good direction now. And we have at the Joseph T. Quinlan Bereavement Center, because this is going to be a new thing for schools to be teaching, we have put together a one-day training, um, curriculum ideas and strategies for grades 8 through 12, and we will be offering that to the community, and it will be on March 22nd, so feel free to give us a call or look online at our webpage uh, to register or get more information, and it's a uh, Hooray for New Jersey to, for doing this. Um, and I'm so glad that the schools will be teaching what's normal in grief, what to expect in grief, coping strategies, how to help ourselves. Um, I just wonder why only grades 8 through 12. Younger people do grief too and do have losses too. And um, the death of a pet or uh, a goldfish or even seeing uh, a dead animal on the side of the road are opportunities to teach about grief. And um, young children will experience loss. It might just be um, the death of a pet, but it might be something bigger. And it would be great if we could include Uh, grief resources to our younger children too. So for anyone who's listening or anyone who has any influence, it would be great if the law could be um, inclusive of younger children too. We have been grieving since the beginning of time. Uh, Anyone who's born and lives will grieve. And it's amazing that it hasn't been Um, okay to talk about and teach in the schools before now, but I'm glad we're starting to shift in the right direction. Decades ago, um, there were some traditions that were done that would be still useful to us that we've abandoned, and there are other things that are no longer useful to us, but we keep. One of those is the tradition of surrounding a casket with flowers. And whenever you go to a funeral home and a wake, you will see that there are a lot of beautiful flowers surrounding the casket. And this tradition started many decades ago when people were waked in their homes. And that was when bodies were not embalmed. And the kids would be running around grandpa's casket in the living room. And after a few days, there was a pretty pungent odor um, because of the lack of embalming. So families would put up fragrant flowers around the casket. Makes sense. And the florists are very happy that we have considered uh, or continued this tradition today. Um, Today, we use it more as a sign of caring Um, and compassion uh, for the survivors, um, the people who are grieving. And um, it's a loving thing to do. But the tradition started because of the pungent odor of a non-embalmed body. Another tradition that we have not kept 
is the sacredness and respect of a funeral procession line. It used to be that when you saw a hearse or, and the cars following it with their headlights on, you would hang back and allow that procession to go before you. Today, that respect is no longer there. We cut in front of, I've been cut off in a, a funeral procession line myself, and I've seen it happen. Everyone's in such a hurry. Another tradition that we have not kept up with that is helpful is the wearing of black. And widows used to wear black for a whole year or sometimes the rest of their lives to say, I'm affected. I'm, I'm changed forever. I have a broken heart. And it was a, a outward sign, a sign of mourning to show it to the world, um, to wear black for that length of time. And today is very unusual to see that. We are in a hurry up and get over it world. Good news is that it seems that we're shifting in the right direction and making it more okay to talk about and to teach about grief and how to deal with it. The reality check news is we need to do more. We're not there yet. So each of us can keep on talking about it, keep on sharing our feelings and making it known that it is okay to talk about, we're all gonna go through this. So as always, thank you for listening because grief matters. If you would like more information on any grief or bereavement issues, including options for counseling, please feel free to call us at the Joseph T. Quinlan Bereavement Center at 973-948-2283, or you can contact us online at copewithgrief.org. Please remember to subscribe to the Grief Matters podcast on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast.